Yes, a starter interrupt device. What the dealer is telling you is they are going to have, as, as part of the deal, a device in the car. If you don't pay for the car, the car won't run. So essentially that's what they do. To be able to cut down on people uh, skipping with the car or not paying and having losses, what they're doing is they will, t they will put a device in the car. When you make payments for the car, as long as you keep making payments, the car continues to run. If you were to miss a monthly payment, let's say, then what would happen is the car would not start. And that's what the starter interrupt device does. So essentially what they're telling you is as a condition of giving you credit for the car, they're requiring the device be put in. Oh, okay. Now, what you should do, um, and this is not necessarily a good or bad thing, this is a decision you have to make when you go look at it, you should get a copy of a, a piece of paper that explains how this whole thing will work. Have you done that? No. Okay, because when you do that, they, they can tell you, we're going to put a starter interrupt device on the car. But you have a right to get a piece of paper that will outline exactly how that works and how the device will work and what happens if you're late or don't make a payment. So that way you'll have everything spelled out in writing and you understand it, and then you can make an informed decision if that sounds like the car deal that you want to make or not.